What in the world is EMD? And do I really need it? So chances are you've heard of EMD, but do you really know what it is? Even if you've bought and sold properties before, do you really know what EMD does for you? Well, we're going to talk about it today. Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of From Contract to Closing with Cheryl. Today I'm going to talk to you about earnest money deposit. I'm Cheryl Purvines with Remax Agency One in Crestview, Florida, serving Okaloosa and surrounding counties in the Panhandle of Florida. We're located about an hour east of Pensacola and about two hours west of Tallahassee. So you finally found the perfect house for you. You've discussed the terms of the contract with your real estate agent, including what the EMD, earnest money deposit amount, will be. Uh, the seller has accepted your offer. Congratulations. Yay. It's time to put down the EMD. Well, wait a minute. What was the EMD? I, I don't know. I got to write you a check. Huh? Technically in the state of Florida, you do not have to put down EMD earnest money deposit. However, you should. First of all, it tells the seller that you are invested in purchasing this property from them. Listen, we have multiple offer situations all the time, and these really come into play. Whether you put down $500, $1,000, $5,000, 1 1% of the purchase price, 2% of the purchase price, 5% of the purchase price, that really makes a difference in how that seller sees you're invested in this purchase. It really does mean a lot to them. Listen, it doesn't have to be scary. You're prepared for this. You've got this. It's going to help you purchase this property. You just write a check payable to the title company. Whatever title company was named on the first page of that contract that you and the seller signed. The title company takes that check from you, deposits that check, and holds it in their escrow account. They have created at that point a fiduciary responsibility to you and the seller for this transaction. They will hold your earnest money until closing where you will receive a credit for that amount on the closing statement. The Alta statement, the closing disclosure, uh, whichever you get. In Florida, most of the time you're going to get both. You're going to see a CD or a closing disclosure, and you're going to see an Alta settlement statement at closing. And you're going to have to sign both along with quite a few other documents. Be prepared for that. So earnest money does not have to be a scary thing. It really doesn't. Home ownership is an incredible thing. Congratulations. You are on your way. Okay, so I hope you've gained a lot of knowledge from this today. Please join me next Thursday when we'll be talking about escrows and how escrows are different from earnest money deposit EMD that's held in escrow with the title company. I hope you've taken some good information away from today. If so, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, and comment below to let me know what topic you'd like to hear about next. More than a realtor, I'm here to help. Thanks for watching.